What's going on guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Coming to you in another video where we're gonna talk about thrust climb and thrust idle actually being threats, okay? Whoa, what was he talking about, man? Joe, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna share with you here, stick with me, okay? Thrust, T-H-R, thrust climb, and thrust idle. You need to think of the T-H-R on both of these as threats. Why? Why is it a threat? What am I talking about? Okay, I'm going to share that with you right here. Let me grab my handy dandy eraser. Now, the reason these are threats, or should be thought of as threats, okay, is because they are fixed thrust modes. THR in column one of the FMA, which happens to be your auto thrust column, is a fixed thrust mode. Now, what that means is exactly what it sounds like. Your thrust is fixed, right? So as a result of the thrust being fixed, if you're not following the flight director command bar perfectly, you will likely see your airspeed go away, okay? It's gonna either accelerate or decelerate to a point where it's not really where you want it to be. It's not where it's being commanded to be. Now, let me give an example of this. Let's say we're climbing here, approximately 15 degrees, nose up pitch attitude. We're in thrust climb. Okay, open climb is typically how you would read this on the FMA. Thrust climb, open climb, right? And we're climbing, let's say we're climbing up to an altitude of 8,000 feet. Okay, I'll just put 8,000 feet here. And uh, well, let's say we're out of 6,000, right? So we're over here, we're climbing, we're out of 6,000 feet, and we're climbing in this FMA mode of thrust climb, open climb, but we level off prematurely for whatever reason. Let's say you level off prematurely and you level around 7,000 feet, and as a result of leveling at 7,000 feet, you bring the aircraft symbol down, right? You lower the nose back down to somewhere between the two and a half and five degree typical level pitch attitude, right? You leave the flight directors behind as they're still up there at the nose up 15 degree value. And now you begin to accelerate quite aggressively because remember, this mode is fixed. So what must vary to maintain speed is pitch. And if your pitch is not consistent with what's being requested by the flight director and you level, this is an example of leveling off prematurely in, in terms of a climb, then you're gonna continue with this thrust climb, this climb thrust and accelerate likely blowing right through that 250 knot uh, restriction below 10,000 feet. Now, descent, let's say you're descending. We're gonna flip this thing around now. Okay, let's say you're, you're, you're hand flying out of 8,000, you're descending to 6,000, in which case this is gonna swap over not to thrust, it won't be thrust climb, it'll be thrust idle, open descent, right? And you're descending out of 8,000 feet here and you decide for whatever reason you level early and now you're at 7,000 feet. Well, when you level off here at 7,000 feet, typically when we level off, right, we need to apply power in order to maintain altitude. And what's gonna happen is because we've leveled off early, the FMA mode has not had a chance to change into a variable thrust mode, which would be speed when we would outstar the altitude. Now, if I lost you there, let me back up for just a second. Remember, typically when we're acquiring or capturing an altitude, our uh, pitch column will change to outstar. So instead of reading open climb or open descent, it'll read outstar. And of course, when it reads outstar, the speed or the auto thrust column is going to read speed. That's a variable thrust mode. But if we level prematurely and we never outstar and it stays in thrust idle, then we're going to actually level off here as your hand flying. And if you don't apply that thrust by means of, in this case, you could manually disconnect the auto thrust system to apply that thrust. But certainly in the thrust idle FMA mode, you would not have the thrust application. So now you begin to hold your altitude at 7,000 and your, air, your thrust will be kept at idle, speed will decay, and you can find yourself flying uncomfortably slow. So, what's the point, Joe? Well, the point is you should realize that thrust idle and thrust climb are fixed thrust modes. And because they are fixed thrust modes, the thrust is fixed, the pitch must vary, and because your thrust is fixed, you should also think of that THR as a T-H-R-E-A-T, a threat, because the auto thrust system is not backing you up to maintain speed. No, your pitch must back you up to maintain the speed. All right, so I hope this message finds you well. 
And more importantly, I hope you all are doing well yourself, your families, and uh, your colleagues and your friends. Crazy times we're going through, but we want to continue to push out value for you and yours here. And of course, if you want more info like this, I dive all into this in the Airbus class that we have online. Uh, OneStepPrep.com is where you can find it. We got a full A320 program there. We got in-person training that we can do for you right here in Miami. We can't wait to play that role in your training success, and we hope you give us that opportunity. We'll see you in the next video.